not real sure how I'm gonna fix this problem. How do you, how does it fit on that side? Not on this side. I don't understand the mechanics behind that. Welcome to the channel, people. If you're new here, I'm Brandy, and today I'm bringing you three ideas for creating dust organizers using pallets and tumbling tower blocks. And I'm using my favorite wood glue and hot glue. Now, I don't want to hear nothing about <laughs> tacky glue. We learned our lesson in the last video. Yes, yes, okay. We're gonna let me use what makes me fuzzy inside and you guys use what makes you fuzzy inside and we will all get along here. Okay, now to recreate this one, you're gonna need a long palette and three small palettes and you're gonna need you know, two tumbling blocks, six on each side, nothing serious. Can we really call this a tumbling and palette DIY? I don't know, we're kind of on a border. It's more of a palette DIY, but you know, it's going in the books. It's already happening. You're gonna wanna stand it up like this and it's not gonna fit perfectly on, you know, it's not going to the edge, but it's good for standing it up like this because your tumbling blocks are gonna, you know, fit in there ever so gently with a little hangover, not a big deal. Now, if you want to, you can lay them long ways, but I thought this was a really cool idea to kind of condense your space. If you have a small desk space, you don't have a lot of room that you could put your pens or your pencils in there. If they have grips, they're not fitting in here though, just to let you know, like they need to be skinny. <laughs> you ain't fitting nothing thick in these but let this dry and then took it out to spray paint and I know you're like Brandy you're showing us project listen I like to put it all together and then I spray paint it all at once so you know you're gonna see it is what it is I was not real worried about getting like all the little crevices spray painted just because of the style that I'm going for here. I am gonna be using these Dollar Tree transfers I found because it's like postal and it just so happens that this is like a little postal thing. So I took these little wood rounds I've purchased at Walmart and I just took some antique Waverly wax rubbed it on there and then we're taking this paper I got from Hobby Lobby and just kind of ripping it up. I wanted to use this you know aesthetic to try and make them all match so this way you know if I'm using one in one room one in the other like you know in my mind they kind of all go together so there's no confusion. I don't do a lot of things <laughs> that match in one video so yeah, usually we got different aesthetics going on. It's just how I am. I like to give everybody lots of options. This I just happen to kind of customize more to my style. I like farmhouse and boho and shabby chic and a little bit of, you know, industrial in there with some rustic. It's, you know, I am very eclectic. <laughs> so that's kind of where I was going with this. I took turns just kind of dry brushing the white and then some antique and then took more of the Waverly wax and finally once it dried I also put some Mod Podge over it which you want to do before you put any type of stickers or transfers because they will not stick very well if you do not do that. I'm sure most of you are familiar with the Dollar Tree transfers and these new ones. Ooh, I'm gonna probably get some hate in the comments, <laughs> but I am in love with them. So I was super happy to see that they were postal because this was for mail and for pens. Believe it or not, this DIY in particular is what gave me the idea to put pallets and tumbling blocks together and create 
designs with them or DIYs with them, however you want to say it. So I've been wanting to make this for quite some time, but wasn't sure what I wanted to do is a video to give you all content and thought, let's just make a whole desk organization video. So to start this little board, this little pin board, I like to call it, you're going to just take the small pallets and put two tumbling blocks together you'll glue the tumbling blocks to make a stand see how i glued them all together like this and now i'm getting rid of all the hot glue dead remains <laughs> that are useless to us we're just gonna get rid of that once you've cleaned your top off so it's all nice and you know down we're then going to put the small pallet and the two tumbling blocks on the top. Center it as much as you can. You're welcome to get as particular with this as you want. I just eyeballed it, okay? You guys are familiar with me. I eyeball things. I try not to stress myself out as much as I can and bust out the level unless it's necessary. <laughs> this it was not. But it should look like this. And it's almost, if you can see, it's almost to the centimeter the exact size with how it's laid. Then you'll put another palette right on top the other palette in the same direction. And I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to. I'm just telling you how I did it, okay? Layer your palettes how you want. All right, back to this. Here's where it gets a little tricky and you gotta be mindful of your hot glue because in case you don't know this, you wanna try not to layer it. It'll cancel one another out. So try not to put them directly on top of one another, okay? You'll glue four together like this and then you'll have one, see the little one that's by itself? That's gonna be like your brace. And then you'll put another same exact thing right on top of that, okay? I'll explain that in a minute, we'll get there. Now, this was a little wobbly like this, if I'm being 100 with y'all, it was a little wobbly. So I felt we needed to add a little bit more tumbling blocks on here for some stability because I'm not trying to have this tumble over nonstop. So I just, you know, four tumbling blocks on each side and it was so much better, so much better. It wasn't wobbly at all. Next, all dry, right? All dry. And now we are going to take our cork board I picked up from the Dollar Tree. You can, you know, use whatever cork board you want. Dollar Tree, cut it to size, and you're going to glue it onto our little tumbling block side. And it also has adhesive on the back. It's not a big deal if you don't, you know glue it because it sticks but you know glue it makes me feel fuzzy inside you add glue okay and you're welcome to put a little piece of paper on the back and uh you know cover up the sticky part if you want then i'm just taking the same exact paper i got from hobby lobby cutting it to size and just decoupaging it on each side of the larger pieces of the palette for some decoration and again so it all matches i'm going for a matching theme who's proud of me i mean come on I do not do this. I said this before. I'm proud of me. Okay, anyhow, I'm getting carried away here. What are we doing now? We are cutting this to size and Mod Podging it down some more. We're going to add some antique Waverly wax and then we are going to kind of brush it off. I like to take the wax where the tumbling blocks are and kind of brush it the opposite way to make it look like, you know, there's a little division there. And that was really it for this one. I know I am about to be seriously judged for this thing that I am building, <laughs> but listen, just roll with me. I don't know if I was, you know, had octopus on the brain or willow tree or whatever this thing, you know, reminds you of. It is, you know, it's a little eccentric, <laughs> but okay. What else do you have? Did you just hang out with me for the next couple of minutes? Come on. We're going to need one of the larger pallets and then you're going to want to glue five tumbling blocks on the edge, you know, right behind one another like this. 
And then on this side, we're going to glue them standing up like this, all the way around. But of course, I'm not real sure how I'm gonna fix this problem. How do you, how does it fit on that side? Not on this side. I don't understand the mechanics behind that. For the life of me, I could not wrap my head around how this just didn't match up. Like, I fiddled with this for quite some time. And then I just got frustrated and was like... I had to walk away from it for a minute. And then I came back, ripped a couple pieces off. And I'm like, you know what? This is happening. Seriously? <laughs> so now I'm squeezing in wood glue and I'm just painting it and painting it. I let it dry and then came back at it and thought, I need another layer because my glue sticks are kind of laying down. I don't like it. It doesn't look nice. So we're going to create a cute little lip on the top here to give it a little bit of, you know, stability because I was getting nervous that the stuff wasn't set in the way I thought it should so here it is and then we get carried away at this point I'm like I need to create I want it to create something that I could hang my little cricket tools off of and if you want on the left side I was thinking of doing on the left side creating like a little glue gun thing putting a couple little um, extra pieces of tumbling tower blocks down there on the bottom of the left so that way you could hang your glue gun on it I didn't go there because I use Ryobi anyway but just giving you all an idea if anything about this inspires something in you there's a little extra i'm taking some dowels because i want to hang different size you know stuff on here so i'm using different size dowels and cutting them to size so for this first one so i can just lay it right across the middle here i'm going to also squeeze these two tumbling blocks on the side of it very 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 tight so it holds this in here and then add more wood glue and place one on top so it's not going anywhere then i kept going up because I needed to fit more things on here. I want it to be able to, then I got the bright idea like, oh, we can, you know, hang our little, you know, I can't think of what the name of them are, the clippers and stuff off the sides. And then we're gonna be able to put our scissors on the top because it's long enough. And this was tricky because, and I'm sure there are other ways you can go about this, but this is how I did it, okay? Stop judging me, I feel it, I feel the judgment. <laughs> so I put these in here, tried my best not to overlap the hot glue and the grill glue, and then came back in with, um, did I say hot glue and Gorilla glue? I should redo that, but I'm just not going to. I'm gonna just keep talking. <laughs> my wood glue not gorilla glue and then we're gonna put a little tumbling block right on the top here now because it's me and I'm having a struggle with this in general my phone died and while it died I decided to add on some little accents put a little knob peg leg on the top that I purchased in a pack from Walmart and added some little extra tumbling blocks around the bottom and you know on the side but here's the fun part we're gonna take some joint compound and some paint take whatever color paint you want and whatever kind of joint compound you want to use and you're going to want to mix it together so it looks all nice and creamy because this is really listen this tower is wobbly do not trust this on its own you're welcome to layer your tumbling blocks if you want i did not have enough okay and my dollar trees make me order <laughs> online because they just never have these tumbling blocks in the store people they just don't around me so i'm like we're going to get rid of all these gaps anyhow and just smear this joint compound this paint mixture in all the little crevices and you're gonna see in a little bit you're not gonna be able to see these little spots anyhow because we are going to you know 
but this is what it looks like when it was all smeared up and then you seen me spray painting it right you were probably terrified of it when you seen the spray paint you're like oh brandy what is that thing <laughs> listen oh i can be crafty it might not always be the prettiest thing you've ever seen but listen i'm a grown woman running a diy channel and i like to make eclectic weird looking things sometimes that are practical that's what this is <laughs> you're gonna take a piece of sandpaper and just go over it i really love doing this two things because especially if you mix paint with your joint compound look at how that color just comes through the paint and you can sand this down as much as you want i was completely happy with that but before we go fixing the tower we're gonna add some more of our hobby lobby paper and decoupage it on the bottom so that way the aesthetic of all three pieces have some decoupage hobby lobby paper on there and just then seal this all up with some mod podge because if not little crusty bits are going to be flying at you when you're trying to put things on there you always want to seal your joint compound and your paint and stuff up because it just you know it makes a mess okay like being real with you messy then i went over it and added to all the little ends some antique waverly wax and I thought another thing that would be really cute too is put like little brad nails on the ends of these little, you know, little gem brad nails on the ends of the things that had little, you know, you could do it on, listen, I had more ideas, but I was trying to calm myself down. Now we're going to hide all this yuckiness up here at the top and secure it more by weaving the twine. <laughs> this was a pain in my bootay, all right? I did not find any joy in doing this but it was necessary and I feel like that rustic aesthetic that I just love so much it really just kind of tied it all in together and it made me feel much fuzzier inside about this creation that I was giving you in this video <laughs> you know because I was getting your girl was getting nervous about this but also, I had to take some Tim Holtz and just put some inspiring little sayings on it. Thank y'all for hanging out with me today, people. I hope this last one did not scare y'all off. I'm actually kind of excited to use it. It's pretty compact. It'll definitely work for what I need it for. But, you know, to each their own. Until next time, bye!